Wow, it's cold here. Let's learn about the polar regions. The Arctic and Antarctic. Whoa, what's that? Look, here is Earth. The Arctic is in the North Pole, which is here. The Antarctic is in the South Pole, which is here. Arctic, Antarctic. Let's take a closer look at the Arctic in the North Pole. Look, you can see it's covered in white. What do you think that is? Snow and ice. It's very cold in the Arctic. So, let's learn some more about the Arctic. Did you know that in the Arctic, the sun stays up for six months a year? Wow! That means that in April, May, June, July, August, September, the sun doesn't go down and it stays light outside every day. And in October, November, December, January, February, March, it's winter time and it's dark every day. Wow, can you imagine living in the dark every day without any light? It is difficult to live in such a cold place, but there are people who live there. Some of these people are called Inuits. There are also several creatures that live in the Arctic. Let's take a look at some of the creatures that live there in the Arctic. What's this? It's a polar bear. Polar bears are very big and heavy. They can weigh about 650 kilograms. Wow, that's heavy. That's like eight or nine adults. What's that? An arctic fox. An arctic fox has a shorter nose and shorter ears compared to other foxes. This helps it to stay warm in the cold weather. A walrus has long and strong tusks. This helps it to break through ice. Wow, look, what is it? A snowy owl. A snowy owl has very good eyesight and good hearing too. This helps it to catch its food. Look, what is it? A reindeer. 
a reindeer's eyes are golden in the summer, but turn blue in the winter, so it can see better in the winter darkness. Look at the sky here, look at these beautiful, amazing colours. This is called the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights are bright, dancing streams of purple, green, red and yellow in the night sky. Northern lights may be seen between September and March on dark, clear nights. The northern lights are caused by the sun's solar flares or solar wind. This solar wind hits the gas atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. Let's take a closer look at that and how it happens. Look, the sun. Can you see the flares flaring up out of the sun? Well, these solar flares can travel through space a strong hot wind and if these solar flares reach earth it can create an amazing sky at night time so let's take a look now at the Antarctic in the South Pole hmm what types of creatures do you think might live in the Antarctic? Shall we have a look? What's this? It's an emperor penguin. And look, can you see the little chick as well? Emperor penguins keep their chicks off the cold ground by tucking them into a special flap of skin that's near their feet. Emperor penguins huddle together to keep warm. Can you see the penguins all huddling together to keep themselves warm? What's this? It's an elephant seal. Elephant seals are the biggest seals in the world and they live in the Antarctic too. They are amazing swimmers and can stay underwater for two hours. Let's find out about some of the first explorers to visit Antarctica. This is Roald Amundsen. He was the first person to reach the South Pole and he arrived on the 14th of December in 1911. This is Robert Falcon. A few weeks later, Captain Robert Falcon Scott also made it to the South Pole. So both of these explorers in 1911 were amongst the first explorers to visit 
Antarctica in the South Pole. And much later, many, many years later, this lady, Felicity Aston. In 2012, Felicity Aston became the first woman to ski alone across Antarctica. Wow, can you imagine skiing across Antarctica by yourself? Imagine that you are an explorer and you were going to explore the Antarctic. What would you need to take with you to survive the cold weather? Hmm, what would you take with you if you were going to explore the South Pole and the Antarctic? Well, you would definitely need some special type of clothing, right? You would need some thermal clothing. You would need a thick jumper. Some winter salopettes. A big, thick jacket. Some ski goggles to keep the snow out of your eyes. Some gloves to keep your hands and fingers warm. Some special hiking boots. Hmm. So, these are just some of the pieces of clothing that you would need if visiting and exploring the Antarctic. What else would you need to take with you to survive? Food and drink, right? But you wouldn't be able to take big heavy tins and cans. You would need to try to keep it light and take packets of food. And of course water and some drinks. What equipment would you need to take with you if you were going exploring in the Antarctic? Well, you definitely need a backpack to put your things in. You might want to take a stove cooker to heat up some food and some hot drinks. You would need some utensils to eat from and drink out of. You might want to take a sledge to carry your equipment on. You might want to take some walking poles so you can walk through the deep snow. Perhaps if you're staying outside you might need a specially designed tent. Cozy sleeping bag to keep you a little bit warm in the night time. So, what else would you take with you if you were going exploring in Antarctica? You might want to take a first aid kit, in case you hurt yourself, some glasses, some bandages, to take care of yourself if you get injured. Can you think of anything else you would take? I want to take a book to read. What else? Remember a very dangerous place. Lots of slippy ice. So make sure you watch your step! <laughs> Whoa!